Okay, so good, uh, good day, good evening, good afternoon to everyone. Uh, this is your plate number four for Architectural Design 5. So for your plate number four, uh, this is 20 hours duration. So one, 10 hours type per week. So it means you are required to do this for two weeks. So... Uh, nade-drain na ba kayo sa kakagawa ng plates? Actually, pang-apat pa lang to. Uh, nabawasan ko pa yan ng isa ha. Dapat nakalima tayo this midterm, before the midterm plate. Um, but I know the setup is not uh, that uh, that well. Hindi lahat pantay-pantay ang na-experience, ang uh, resources. At pare-pares tayo na na-experience na uh, medyo nahihirapan tayo sa online class or naninibago tayo sa online class. So that plate number four is now cancelled and instead, I'm just going to give you an assignment based dun sa lecture number four. So, but please continue watching this video kasi i-announce ko na yung midterm plate ninyo so that you would have enough time to do this Kaya inisip ko, imbes na bigyan kayo ng panibagong plate, concentrate na lang tayo doon sa midterm plate natin. So, ang assignment natin is, uh, kung nanood kayo ng video kanina, you would do a user flow chart. So, the di uh, or diagram for a customer on the following establishment. So, we have five establishments. At ang gagawa nyo ng flow chart ay yung customer lang ah. Ano ba ang flow ng ni customer in a fast food drive through On a mall parking area, on a massage parlor, on a grocery, and then on a cinema. Uh, you, uh, you, I would post this uh, uh, Google Classroom kung saan nyo isi-send. And then it, uh, please send it by a JPEG or PDF file. And again, please... If you can edit the file name, please include your surname para hindi medyo mahirap mag-check. If you're going to submit it on PDF, pwede ba natin siyang emerge? We, uh, meron naman siyang ano, online na nag-merge ng PDF to PDF. So that mas madali ko siyang ma-check. Okay? So, or if hindi, please add the, the label fast food drive through. Make sure, so syempre kahit assignment siya, pagandahan pa rin siya ng flowchart or palin or pinakamadali make sure that na madali siyang intindihin okay so dito tayo sa midterm plate so your midterm plate is sa municipal hall so lahat tayo na merong munisipyo sa bawat lugar at malamang nakapunta na sa mun mga munisipyo so, ano ba yung municipal hall? So, a municipal hall is the administrative building of a whole community. Um, ano ang nilalaman ng munisipyo? So, it houses the office of the mayor, the office of the vice mayor, the Sangguniang Bayan office, your municipal planning and development office, your municipal local civil registrar, your municipal budget office, municipal accounting office, municipal treasurer office, municipal assessor's office, municipal health office, municipal social welfare and development office, municipal agriculture office, and your municipal engineering office. So this is just an example, and you can add more, or you can do add less. So depende sa atake nyo ngayon sa munisipyo. So, ano-ano ba yung uh, lahat naman siguro tayo naka-attend na sa munisipyo, ano? So, who are the users ng municipal hall? So, kamukha ng mga sinabi ko ng department kanina, meron yung mga employees. At ang gumagamit ng munisipyo ay hindi lang yung employees. So, since this is a government building, hindi lang go employees and government officials, but it also caters the people in the community. So, bawat department kanina, even the common people, the, the community people will go and do um, their business sa iba't ibang department na yan or offices. So, 
municipal hall as an institutional building should reflect the integrity and dignity ng bayan. So, uh, kailangan strong since this is uh, this shows the government of the community. Its design are uh, getting trendier and trendier and high tech. Kung nakita natin, uh, usually the pabago ng pabago and pa-advance na and pa-advance ang mga uh, municipalities natin. You can inco incorporate green building, green architecture, sustainable architecture, and uh, intelligent building. Uh, yung more on uh, contactless sa sa tao, mas okay yon. So it, you can modernize your munis design of your municipality. So its architecture should not focus on the color of the current leaders, but should showcase the whole community's identity. Lagi niyang tatandaan yan, and which is ang sakit sa ulo at ang sakit sa mata at malamang masakit sa bulsa ng taong bayan. Kapag nakikita natin na pinapalitan yung uh, colors ng isang municipality just because nagpalit tayo ng politicians. I do not know what why these politicians should um, color the whole town kung anong color na dinala nila di ba uh, make uh, dapat they would be they would shall, they shall focus more sa aesthetics or sa ganda ng community and not sa color nila kasi minsan na sarap <laughs> nakakainis at hindi nakakatawang makita nag lalo na pag nagre-renovate sila tapos nick ang pangit din naman pala na renovate nyo or hindi rin naman pala neutral color ang gagamitin nyo. And at the same time, sa susunod na election, papalitan nyo rin yan. ba diba? uh, One example dito sa amin, sa Limay, uh, ako, personally, I'm from a political pub, uh, family here. I'm a Rojas dito. But I do not agree sa mga nangyari. Before the, the, the reign of uh, former Mayor Roque, ang color ng Limay is blue in the municipality tapos nung nung buma, nung nung naupo na si David ano nangyari what happened to the color it turned into yellow and green <laughs> which is sana ginawa na lang neutral color kung if i was someone na consulted with that building i would make it uh, i would use colors that are neutral like beige or brown or pure uh, cream or off-white, just to show the integrity and dignity. And then, napapansin nyo, madalang ang munisipyo na puti. Kasi, eh, ayun na lang, joke. More on political na yan. Bahat yun, di ba? Hindi, why? Bahat kaya madalang yung white sa munisipyo? Dahil ba hindi makita yung integrity ng pol politics doon sa building? Or the cleanliness of the politics? We never know. But mapapansin nyo, yun ang pinakapangit dito sa Pilipinas. We add colors. And then kapag ka, kasi project ng kalaban, hindi na nila ginagamit. Let's see, let's check yung yung terminal, the old terminal. Nagpalit lang ng, ng position, hindi na yun yung nagpagawa. Ano, parang inabandon na siya. Instead of its architecture should have been uh, used it should have been um, renovated na lang sana so that it would be used. Hindi naman ang nangyayari kasi it's more on the integrity of the politicians or the, ang tag dito, yung kanilang, um, kanilang kailangan bitbitin nila na pride nila na, oh, ako yung nagpagawa niyan. At hindi, niyo, hindi ko matanggap ang nagpagawa niyan is yung kalaban ko, di ba? Or yung nauna sa akin. So anyways, enough of politics. But uh, I would like to show you the different municipalities dito sa Bataan. So let's start from Mariveles. So Mariveles, this is a municipality. Actually, meron na akong dalawang thesis last sem na yan ang ginawa. I don't know. I've never been sa municipality hall ng Mariveles. Pero uh, based dun sa nag-thesis, sabi niya, uh, she thinks she, uh, it can... Uh, it's more promising na iba yung design niya or yung ayun ko minsan sabi siyang mainit uh, kapag ano papawisan yung mga taong nakapila i don't know never been there ito sa amin sa Limay ito yung sinasabi ko it was blue before do maganda yung interiors it's more modern modernized mer siyang escalators but again i i think 
uh, the spaces, uh, never mind commenting with the, the, the plan, but ang kukomentan ko lang is yun nga, the colors should have been more um, focus doon sa ikagaganda nung, nung buong munisipyo or nung buong uh, municipality instead of adding colors na basta lang mawala yung trace nung sa kalaban. So all, um, sana all politicians uh, mas mag-focus na ngayon sa architecture. So I'm going to minimize myself. So this is in Orion. So sa Orion, ang ano sa tingin ko lang, hopefully, because it, this is a traditional setup, yung, yung munisipyo, tabi ng harap ay plaza, tabi ng simbahan, at likod niya ay sementeryo. Uh, so hopefully, since uh, umuunlad na ngayon si Orion, hopefully the municipality, sana ano, sumabay siya, di ba? Kasi parang, pinakamaliit siya sa paningin ko sa lahat ng mga munisipyo or din wala siyang enough parking space. So hopefully, magawa nila ng paraan niya na medyo sumabay sa development of the 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 town. Okay. Next is Pilar. So syempre, Pilar, ito, ito yung isang example na sabi ko na neutral, walang specific color Imagine mo, kunyari, gagawing red yan, yung white parts, kapag ka nagpalit, tapos yung susunod, gagawing blue. So, di ba? They maintained it. And, syempre, maganda yan kasi this is a uh, design of architect Robert Aguilar, our faculty. So, but makikita mo na compare sa naunang tatlo, eh, it, maganda na tong munisipyo na to kasi Uh, hindi wala parang wala siyang masyadong pinapanigan ito medyo outdated na kasi yung yung dalawa and then tong isa more on sumusunod sa kulay at parang uh, uh, kumukulay nung nung administration so syempre yung balanga which is ang maganda sa kanya is um inihawig nila ngayon yung design sa paligid niya sa simbahan to make the the, the whole plaza square Uh, beautiful, na para siyang isang magkakakonekta the, the Gallery of Victoria and the Center Plaza Mall. So, yun. This is one good ano din, design of munisipyo. Though it's not modern, pero sa loob, modern na rin naman siya. And then, uh, wala siyang, siguro if nakakainis din siguro if ever matatanggal yung Garcia sa Balanga at papalitan to ng susunod. I hope it won't sacrifice the architecture nung building so that uh, ma-maintain pa rin yung kagandahan niya. Okay, in Abukay, so syempre, uh, the Abukay Town uh, Municip uh, Municipality Hall, that is maliit lang and then walang parking space, but now, tinatayo ngayon yung kanilang uh, bagong munisipyo sa malapit sa palengke nila. I don't know, mga taga-abukay, is it already finished? Pero again, sana din hindi ito palitan ng susunod na uupo or mag-iiba ng color. Just maintain the architecture itself. Okay, Samal. So sa Samal, ito yung dati niyang munisipyo. So old uh, Filipino-inspired. But again... It is redesigned by our very own architect, Robert Aguilar. So, ito, it's ongoing construction and hopefully, um, ag again, it it, uh, it emphasizes pa rin and it gives the characteristic pa rin nung una na Filipino architecture pero bumongga lang siya ng mga 10 times. Okay, sa Orani, I don't know if Orani has plans or lumang picture na to pero sa pagkakaalala ko, ito pa rin naman ang munisipyo ng Orani. Doon napuntahan ko siya dati, nire-renovate yung kanyang loob. So, Hermosa, I'm not sure again if that's the right call. It's it's the updated one, ha? And then, Nalupihan. Kabalik ako. Yan. Bagak, which is, uh, nga pala, kapag nasa Bagak ka, sa harap ng munisipyo nila, makikita nyo ang 
waiting shed ng UAP, United Architects of the Philippines. It was donated by the the District A to B. Lahat ng nasa Central, uh, nasa Pampanga, Zambales, Bataan area. So hopefully maraming tayong mga tayong waiting sheds ng UAP. I'm not sure kung ganyan pa rin siya kaganda. And then sa Morong. So ito yung mga munisipyo dito sa atin sa Bataan. So kayo na mag-judge. Uh, dumakikita natin yung mga nag ang kagandahan yung mga nagpapa-renovate like Pilar, um, Balanga, Samal, and Abukay. They they try to 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 create architecture na hindi ang tag dito hindi, hindi mo basa basang kayang palitan yung kulay or it shows the integrity of the uh, municipality. So ito bumumpunta tayo sa pinaka bunga na siguro. So this is samples of city halls and um, municipality halls sa ibang bansa. So this one is the City Hall of London um, designed by Norman Foster. So yan. So ito siguro naman, ito mga to hindi sila nagpapalit ng building structures based sa, sa administration niya. No? And this one is the Westland Town Hall and Municipal Office in Netherlands. So I hope you design um, based sa uh, it can be modern or pwede tayong, ito, kumukha na nasa saman. Uh, in corporation pa rin ng traditional architecture. And then si Balanga. ba? Based doon sa gagawin niyong design ng munisipyo. So, our lot is a corner lot. Again, it's an 80 by 40 um na lot, corner, it is your minor road, major road, this ito yung north side natin. So, uh, dito natin siya itatayo. Please make sure that you follow your setbacks and the flow of the the entry ng ating um, vehicles at ng pedestrian. And um, analyze your site well. So, ano yung, you, you need to have research requirement for this midterm plate. So, nagawa naman na natin to before, your organizational chart. Madali naman to mag-research. Hindi naman dapat nakabase lang sa bataan. You can base it so whatever. And then, nagpakita naman ako kanina ng um, sample na mga nilalaman ng munisipyo. Your flow of users. Uh, saan... Uh, yung yung tinuro ko ka last time. Uh, so, paano po yung flow of users, ma'am? So, siguro yung ano na lang, mga major users natin. So, hindi ko naman ibig sabihin lahat ng ng, ng uh, kunyari, nasa, nasa engineering office lahat ng staff niya gagawa nyo ng flow of users. Hindi naman. At least siguro yung pinaka-head nila or pinaka-important uh, na tao sa bawat department or bawat offices. And then, syempre, make sure you add the public. Tapos, syempre, yung mga uh, si mayor, si vice mayor. So, that's your flow of users. Your space identification with description. So, again, you can base it again doon sa pinakita kong spaces or zones. And then, i-elaborate nyo na lang siya. You have your qualitative analysis and quantitative analysis. So, yan parehas yan based dun against the space identification. Your bubble diagram and your matrix diagram. Sige ma'am, medyo mahirap po yata or madami masyado yung subflow of users, space identification, qualitative analysis, and quantitative analysis. Just make, again, one person, one the most important person per department. So, kung 13 yung department na pinahita ko kanina, you will have 10, 13 flow of users. And then, yung qualitative analysis, syempre yung mga general lang yung ilalagay natin. Or kunyari sa isang department naman siya since uh, ang uso naman ngayon is hindi talaga naka-enclose offices. And uh, kunyari, engineering department, para naka-tables lang sila. You can have a general qualitative and quantitative analysis for that de department. And then, uh, bubble diagram natin is for 
uh, the whole municipality. Hindi naman ibig sabihin ng buong engineering department gagawin niya ng bubble diagram. The whole municipality na siya per department yung gagawin yung bubble diagram. And also for the matrix diagram. So yung matrix diagram natin is yung spaces na lang natin. wag nang yung mga tao. So kunyari, si engineering office, sino dapat kalapit niyang office or si office of the mayor, sino dapat niyang malapit na office. And again, you can, you should do this if you are going to have multi-levels, multi-floors, each floor, one bubble diagram, and then matrix diagram siguro. Okay, uh, for the drawing requirements, you need, I'm gonna minimize myself. You need the detailed floor plan, syempre fully rendered, for elevations, your exterior perspective, sa ginawa kong module, dalawa yan dapat, pero kahit isa lang. Interior of the major areas. O, ito lang naman ang hinihingi kong interior sa inyo. Yung lobby, the mayor's office, and the conference room. Or, uh, conference room is optional. You can add a different uh, area. Or, kayo, kung gusto nyo pandagdagan, base dapat siya sa kung paano nyo mai-interpret or may papakita yung um, munisipyong dinidesign nyo. And then your site development plan. So, saan siya ilalagay? Sa A3 size paper or what is available sa inyo. So, kahit hindi naman, kunyari, uh, bas, um, at least one page isang yung floor plan, yung elevations, pwede magkakasama na sa inyo na siya. You can do digital or manual drafting. Make sure lang malinaw siyang i-check. So, kailan ang deadline natin? So, our midterm week will be November 4 to 7, 2020. And then, you will submit it in, on November 14, 2020. So, that's uh, parang four weeks duration. So, from the time being, I would uh, send messages sa group chat. So, those who I would... Uh, let's schedule kung meron talagang kailangan ng consultation or you want to ask something. Pwede tayong mag-set ang synchronous meeting. And also... Uh, mag-upload mag pa rin ako ng mga uh, reaction video ko with your plates na sinabmit kasi naipon na sa akin and hindi ko pa siya matapos matchikan so hindi ako makagawa ng reaction video. I'll make sure that within that four weeks duration I would return your plates so pa, dating na November 14 ang iche-check ko na lang is your midterm plate. So nagkakaintindihan tayo um, if we are going to have this on face-to-face -face, probably nakagrupo tayo but just to prevent you from going outside, uh, let's make it more on individual muna. And then, we could still compromise naman. Kung hindi talaga haabot sa November 14 yung iba, I will not move the deadline. But uh, siguro magkakaroon na ng deduction kasi since this is a midterm plate. But again, I want you to do your best and not focus more on the grades. Um, more on output base pa rin tayo. At hindi ko kasi alam kung kamukha pa rin to nung last sem na uh, no trace commit kahit yung magusto namin ibagsak, hindi namin mabagsak. We're just go allowed to give no grades available until you have your completion. But uh, I hope that let's make this uh, pandemic na sulit at kahit nang self-learn kayo, eh, you try to, uh, to have devel personal development. So kung naiinip kayong magawa mag-isa at uh, you can, you are have a lot of data or wifi, you can have synchronous meeting with your classmates para lang ma-update o kamustahin, magkamustahan lang kayo kung ano na yung ginagawa nyo. Kasi na alam ko na madami sa inyo hindi makagawa once wala pang nakikitang may gumagawang iba. So again, I would also like to remind everyone na um, pag malapit na deadline, nakikita ko na yung mga nagka-cramming at nagspo sa sa mga story nila. Remind ko, friend nyo ko. And, um, hindi ko kayo minamadali for this plate as long as you give your best on this plate. Uh, kahit mahuli, basta wag lang abutin ng after finals. So, uh, good luck with your midterm plate. So, wala na. Plate number four, Assignment na lang, and then we have your midterm plate. Duration of one week. Supposed to be two weeks lang itong midterm plate eh. We're going natin one month. So, good luck!